Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about nucleoid. So what is nucleoid? We have talked about nucleoid in our previous videos. It is basically a area, a dense area which consi consists of the DNA of the bacterial cells. So these are here the genetic material of the prokaryotes are present. That means the genetic material of bacteria are present in the nucleoids. So, nucleoid is known by different names. For example, they are known as genophores, they are also called as prochromosome, they are called as incipient nucleus and also they are known as chromonym. So, uh, they contain single circular stranded of supercoiled DNA. What do we mean by supercoiled DNA? Supercoiled DNA means a long strand of DNA, it is coiled and tightly packed. Pack so that the surface area or the volume taken by that uh, DNA is very small. So it is highly packed coiled structure which is known as supercoiled DNA. Now the nucleoid proteins are very much different from the histone proteins. Now what are histone proteins? These are basically the proteins which are found mostly in eukaryotes and these histone proteins help in the supercoiling of the long uh, strand of DNA which is uh, mostly 2.2 meters and it is coiled, supercoiled and present inside a very small nucleus. So these histone proteins help in supercoiling in case of eukaryotic cells. Now the DNA of the prokaryotes is naked. So why it is called as naked? Because it does not have associated histone proteins in it and also the DNA present inside the bacterial cell, it is not membrane bound. Hence the DNA of the prokaryotes is called as naked DNA. The nucleoid is embedded freely in the cytoplasm. So the nucleoid it does not acquire any specific position. So it is present freely in the cytoplasm of the bacterial cells. A cell may have two or more nucleoid. So these uh, number of nucleoids that is more than one nucleoid, these are nothing but replicated nucleoid of the same nucleoid which is present inside the bacterial cell. So these are the replicated copies of the same nucleoid. Now the nucleoid may uh, be remain, they may remain directly attached to the plasma membrane or in turn they may also be attached to the plasma membrane with the help of mesosomes. So these nuclei can be uh, directly attached to the plasma membrane or in the other way around they may also be attached to the plasma membrane with the help of mesosomes. So in this video we have talked about nucleoids and we have also talked about the presence of DNA in nucleoid and how it is different from the eukaryotic cells DNA which is present. So I hope you have understood this video and like this video. Thank you.